I have in my house a stack, count them, a stack of pieces of paper that are long and skinny. And what do you know that's long and skinny? Get your mind out of the gutter. I know what's long and skinny. It's a pen. So let's pretend I wanted to do a drawing of a pen. Now this is a more big fat old more with a big fat old more nib. And the big fat old more nib has a crack in the back and a crack on the cap lip. So it'll be a perfect pen for me to try something with. Let's pretend I wanted to draw what this pen looked like, do a drawing of that pen. Okay, so what, what pen do I use to draw that pen? I'll use this one. I haven't used this in a while. It's a very fine nib. Cap doesn't want to stay up posted. Just dipping it here just to see. So let's let's do my rendition of this more pen. Sort of has this cap and a flat end, flat-ish end. Typical more clip. This is this is this paper that I kind of don't like. It seems not to always want to take the the ink. Use your words, Peer. Use all of your words, not just the ones that So I'm drawing this as you can see very loosey goosely. I can see my pen had a certain kind of ink in it before. And then it has its big old nib right here. With a crack in it. Crack, 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 crack. So anyway, let's just doodle. That was sort of what I wanted to do. It's just push the pen around and doodle. <sighs> Before going back to diploma things. This, this is the, this greenish marble, black veiny marbleized brouhaha going on. I'm trying to illustrate kind of, but I'm going to do something fun in a minute. If I can figure out how to do that. I've got these water brushes and I thought I would just see how they would work with this. So the water brushes have water in them, which then hits the ink and um, dissolves the ink in some cases. In other cases, the ink might be sort of too dry for that to happen.
Am I just wasting my time and a perfectly good piece of paper and perfectly good ink by doing this, or is, is there something something good going to happen with this pen? I think it might, you know, as you saw, I drew this one very sort of aggressively, and part of it's due to the fact that it's broken. The pen is broken in a couple of different places, so I'm sort of just trying to show it that it lived a hard life. Head to shopping cart, one million dollars. Giving myself problems, I know I've got more than enough problems, giving myself challenges, like what am I going to do with this piece of paper? I could throw it away or I could draw on it or I could cut it up and use it for making fish or I could do something else with it. And, you know, I, I need some <clears throat> challenges in my life right now that are going to make me smile because it's really pretty. Don't cry, Pierre, don't cry. It's just sort of, you know, depressing out there in the real world and things are happening in my personal life that I don't need to bother you with. I'm exaggerating a little bit. What's happening in my life? Nothing. <laughs> That's the depressing part. Not a thing is happening in my life. So there are three different kinds of inks going on here. If I was doing this with maybe more care, I would have only one kind of ink. But there's ink in the pen that was dipped just now. There was ink in the pen from the last time I actually used it, and who knows what it had in it at that point. When am I looking at this? I'm going to be drawing the more, not this. That's the line it's making. N, N, N. It's making an N. So now I'm just sort of adding more lines that... I'll do a better, a different one after this just to see if I can come up with a different pen that I maybe care a little bit more about in this one. This pen that I'm drawing does not belong to me. It belongs to a customer. He wants me to sell it for him. And there's really, there's so, there are many things about it that are broken. And yes, it can be repaired, and maybe someone wants the barrel. Maybe the barrel is not broken, and someone needs a barrel of this pattern. But, um, and it can work. I mean, you can put a sack in it, and the nib has some life left. So...
Oh, I'm sort of screwing it up, I think. And a shopping cart, $1 million. But you see, I could do this for, let's say, your favorite pen and do a drawing of your favorite pen and maybe on your favorite pen it, um, where it, it is a spot to have a cartouche uh, has a cartouche with a spot to engrave it i could put your initials or your name in it wouldn't that be fun okay so here's a waterman should i try to do a nicer drawing and we'll do a different drawing It'll not be nicer okay i just had these where did the Okay, so here's a waterman. Draw it, still draw it with me. I'll draw it with a different pen. This one had a nib that wasn't very flexible. Let's try a more flexible nib. I'll draw it with this one. Draw a waterman with a waterman. See what? So this is a waterman with a with a uh, accommodation clip because the original clip went missing at some point. Here I'm drawing this much more, uh, much di more differently, more differently. I'm drawing the the um, cutouts the basket weave cutouts. Hard rubber. I don't know why I'm making them so jiggly. Because I can, I guess. Then you've got the threads, you've got the section, and you got the nib. I'll draw the nib from a slightly different angle. Spoon feed. I'll draw the lever. This pen too has lots of problems. The lever is doesn't really fit. It's been broken. It's sort of just held by friction. So here are the cutouts, hard rubber, sterling, dip the pen again, Okay, let's see what happens when I add my ink wash to this. Now I'm going to keep, try to keep the area that is light, just right along the sort of the top here where the lever is. It'll be light, and then the rest will be in slight darkness, and then it gets slightly lighter at the bottom again. The light reflecting from the table. Okay. 
Okay, and over here, same thing. Light toward the top. Dark. I'll fill in those little cut up bits in a later. Start with just start with the sterling part. So imagine this is your favorite pen, your top three pens. Maybe I should ask the Apple Boom Pen Company if they want to talk about my artwork that could maybe enhance. Their store here in Boston. Okay, uh, the hard rubber. Am I done with my sterling yet? Not yet. So if we got something here. The metal bits first. Okay, now for the hard rubber bits. I will start here. Go back to here. What are you thinking, people? Talk to me. Talk to me, people. Feed. Famous Waterman Spoon feed right there. There's its little fun line. Thoughts, two down. Two pen portraits. Two 
to do another one. Tuck away. Do it, tuck away. This one has a really fun engraving on it, but I'm not going to show the engraving. Okay, so this one, how am I going to draw this one? This is a completely different kind of a thing. And I think because of its very, very prickly, it's the finest nib I own. So maybe I'll try to draw this one sort of sparingly, delicately somehow. So here's the Zeppelin shape. Cap. Arrow. Threads. Threads. Section, rather. Conical nib. Tiny, tiny little nib point. That's all it's doing is right there. You have to make that noise. That's the two-tone nib going on here. So this one I want to have be sort of very, very light somehow I don't know why I'm doing this why am I doing this people white dot that's a little diminu diminutive took away clip it has the line and the squiggle a line and the squiggle that kind of pattern on it. Barrel is burgundy. Section is black. Doesn't look like much, does it? Will it look like much when I add the ink wash? We'll find out. Stay tuned. Okay, ink wash time. It's sort of a dry brush I'm using. I'm sort of trying to have it be soft and quiet. I have a feeling that if anyone wanted me to draw these things, they'd want me to draw it persnicketedly snickety. They wouldn't go for this goosey-goosey approach. They want a measured drawing. And say, Pierre, can you, why is it crooked there? Why did you make that, why does that line go 
too far. Why don't you make mine nice like you made it for the other guy? Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of piz pizzazz to this nib. Just make some of it dark. The chrome darker. Who knows? Depends. Add to shopping cart, one million dollars. Okay, what else can I do here? Come on. I wanted to see if this paper was any good. Bleeds a little bit. big sheet of paper, so big tablet of paper rather. 
and it might be good for me to just scribble on. The joy isn't there. I should just bring it down. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bring it down to the area where we allow people to Is it good with pencil? Is it good with anything? Yes. Throw it away. One less thing in my house. It's not bad with this. What is this Prismacolor? Who knows, maybe I'll keep it. Okay, I'm done. Bye, everyone.